How's it going guys? Uh, so today's video is going to be something a little bit different and uh, basically I've decided, because I have a microscope and stuff and I don't know if you saw in the previous video that I was interested in like magnifying things, I thought I could do videos on it, make it a little bit interesting, if it has enough popular demand then I'll keep making them. Um, so yeah, these videos are going to be called Magnify It and today we are going to be magnifying something really cool and it's actually a meteorite, I don't know if you can see that you can. And let me see. Uh, focus. So yeah, meteorite uh, basically part of it. And this meteorite is called Campo del Cielo. I think that's how it's pronounced. And it was from Argentina and it's around 4,000 to 5,000 years old. This thing is so real it even came with a certificate of authenticity uh, as you can see here. So I thought that was quite cool. And uh, yeah, we're gonna magnify it, and we're gonna, I'm gonna give you some facts of it, and yeah, see what we can see. Okay, so here is our meteorite. As you can see, it uh, kind of looks very shiny and metallic. Uh, I said metallic, very weird, then. Um, so yeah, for those of you who don't know, a meteorite is a solid piece of debris from an object, such as a comet, asteroid, or meteoroid, that originates in outer space and survives its passage through Earth's atmosphere uh, and impacts with the Earth's surface or that of other planets. Right, so I've said that really weirdly. Um, I apologize for that. <laughs> um, so yeah, anyway, I'll just talk through this anyway, and uh... Yeah, I think it looks kind of interesting. Um, I'll explain to you now why it's so shiny. Uh, if I zoom in here now, you can kind of see tiny little pieces of like what almost looks like rust. And uh, yeah, let's move on to another asteroid now. Uh, meteorite, sorry, meteorite two. Um, so yeah, this is kind of similar as well. Um, so yeah, meteorites are always named for the places they were found. Uh, usually a nearby town or a geographic feature. So like my one's from Argentina, and as I said at the start of the video, it's from an Argentinian town, or city, I don't really know where it is. And uh, only about 6% of meteorites are iron, uh, or a blend of rock and metal. The stony iron meteorites, these are called. Um, so yeah, that's probably why you can see in this one, it's kind of like a rocky, metallic color to it, because it's mainly made of iron. And if you test it underneath a magnet, it's magnetic as well. So it's 100% genuine, and uh, it contains these weird fiber, almost looking things. Uh, they look a bit like hairs. Uh, so I thought that was quite cool. I didn't really know what that was, and I was looking into it, and apparently it can contain fibers from other things that's gathered in space. 86% um, of the meteorites that fall on Earth are chondrites. I think I've said that right. Uh, which are named for the small round particles they contain. Uh, so that's like the particles that you can see. Uh, we'll move now on to meteorite number three. Um, so pretty much they're all pretty much the same textures in them, except they contain different features. Like this one has more of the fibers, as I was telling you about. If we zoom in now. So look at that. It looks kind of weird. Looks a bit like uh, cobwebs that spiders have. Um, so yeah, I thought that was quite interesting. I mean, imagine like if I was zooming in on this now and I found some sort of weird insect. That would be pretty interesting, right? Obviously it's never going to happen, but uh, you never know. And uh, yeah, I thought this was quite cool as well, how smooth out it was uh, compared to the rest of them. It's almost like pretty much metal. Um, so yeah, I thought that was quite interesting. Uh, we'll move now on to the final one, which is meteorite number four. And uh, this is the smallest one I have. And it, con it contains all the similar features, but it looks more rocky compared to the other ones. I don't know if you can notice that. Uh, and it looks more meteorite-like. For example, you know when you think of meteorites, they kind of like they're gonna be rocky and usually on fire and stuff like that. Well, this kind of looks similar to what you would think it would look like, almost like a volcanic rock type thing. And uh, yeah, if I zoom in now, it still has the shiny layers to it. But it's a lot darker compared to the other ones, I think, anyway. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all there is to say about the meteorites. And I thought this would look quite cool under magnific magnification. So uh, so yeah. 
Alright guys, so thanks for watching this video. Uh, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed it and if you found it really interesting. Uh, also comment, let me know what you'd like to see me do. Uh, because there's loads of other things that could be magnified and we could look at and I think it would be quite interesting to see all the little particles and everything that forms it. Um, so I'm going to be doing a bit more videos on this. So, for example, if you comment now, I won't be able to do a video for it for about a few weeks anyway. Uh, but I will be done, if I accept it anyway. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a little more interesting things of this Magnify It series. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm also going to be doing other videos as well, like vlogs and talk videos. As I said, the gaming videos aren't going to be as much now because it's kind of hot in here. And yeah, I've explained all this already. Um, so yeah, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. There'll be just uh, as fun videos as this. And uh, yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.